old are you, Miss Smith? I'm 18, Your Honor. And you, Mr. Brooks? 19. It is your claim that the defendant, who used to be your boyfriend, is not your boyfriend anymore, despite the fact that you are currently, according to what you wrote here, pregnant, now back living with your parents, I assume. That's correct. You were living with him for a while. How old were you when the two of you started to live together? 17, Your Honor. Where were you living? At his grandmother's house. With your mother's permission? No. So you left home? Yes, he convinced me to run Don't tell me what he convinced you. Don't tell me what he convinced you. He didn't convince any 17-year-old girl anything if she didn't want to go. He doesn't look like any Svengali to me. So you went to live at his grandmother's house with him, and then? His grandmother kicked us out, and... His and grandmother kicked you out? Yes. What's the reason for that, Mr. Brooks? Uh, we didn't get along after a while. Who didn't get along? Me, my grandma, and we all we were just always constantly fighting. Okay, so after you left your grandmother, where did you go? We got a place with a couple friend of ours, and we were renting a room from them. And that so is... a couple had an apartment and they let you rent a room. Now, what were you doing to support yourself during this time? I had a job and he did not. Tell me what your job was. I was currently working at Bed Bath & Beyond at the time, so I was working at least 25 hours a week and I okay, was able so to support myself. you were working part-time at Bed Bath & Beyond. Were you going to school? Yes, I was. And what were you doing? I was selling cars on the side. How many cars did you sell on the side? When we were together, maybe about eight or nine. Did you make any money? Yes. Okay. This case has two parts. One, you claim that you made a loan to Mr. Brooks. That's correct. Okay. Now, I want you to tell me when you made the loan and how much. I made the loan in about October, the end of October, for an Audi for $700. And, and just, just a minute. End of October mm -hmm. of 2015, you gave him $700. Yes. Where did you get the $700 from? I had received $1,300 for graduating high school in cash, so I had it in cash at the time. Just a second. $1,300 from whom? From family, my grandmother, my parents aunts, uncles. So they, all together, they gave you $1,300. Yes. And you gave $700 of that to Mr. Brooks to buy a car. Yes. How much was the car? We, that was not true. It, it didn't end up like that. We didn't buy the Audi first. That was like, like the fifth car we bought. Okay. Uh, we bought a Subaru for the very first time and it was only $300. I'm talking about the $700 she said she gave you. Did she give you $700? No. Did you buy an Audi? Yes, we did. Well, you say we. How much did you pay for the Audi? We paid 500 From whom? A uh, person off Craigslist. Did you pick up the car? The Audi? Yes. Okay. Where did you get the $500 from? From a recent car we, we sold. So you would flip cars? Yes. How much was the rent in the room? Um, the rent was, we paid half, it was $400. Did you pay any of the rent? Yes. From flipping cars? Yes. Did you also go to school? I, I did not at the time. No, so you didn't graduate from high school? No. So you were just flipping cars? Mm hmm And you certainly weren't paying the $400 a month rent and putting away a lot of money working 25 hours a week at Big Bath and Beyond. Okay. Now, do you have any proof that you gave him this money, whether it be $500 or $700? Do you have any proof of that? I have acknowledgments through text message and through Facebook of him saying that he knows he owes me the $700. Fine. I'd like to see it. 